In this video, I want to speak a bit more about Lou Balchazi, but in a more indirect way. Some of the things that Lou did, see Lou Balchazi was like, like a magnet. He pulled people in to him and he brought them all together. For example, if you look at the Balchazi.com website under the audiovisual section, you'll find that just about anybody who's involved in Latin audio has gone through Balchazi Caducci to get published. So um, conversational Latin for oral proficiency and the audio material that accompanies that very important book. Stephen Dates's uh, recordings of Greek and Latin. The material that originally started to appear on the Sorgul homepage, and if you're not familiar with that, the Society for the Oral Reading of Greek and Latin Literature, it's a Sorgul, S-O-R-G-L-L, -L. have a look at that, because um, that that's where I started out with my um, path down to restored classical pronunciation. Um, and you'll find there that uh, there's a selection of material. Um, Sonkowski's recordings, for example, which are also available and published in full by Balchazi. You'll find under the Latin section um, also Mark Minor and uh, Dates, who I mentioned before, Sonkowski, Dylan. All these people have found an outlet to publishing their oral Latin through Balchazi. And if it were not for those people and their work, then there would be, for example, no Latinum podcast, and I wouldn't be here right now in front of you reading Latin texts in restored classical pronunciation. There are other people mentioned there, for example, um, Robin Bond, who um, was based at the University of Canterbury, um, which is my university, and he was involved with producing um, a reconstruction of Ciceronian oratory. Um, Way back in 2007, Robin actually helped me very much. He sent me a DVD with his recordings of the entire works of Horace. Um, and that was a great help to me personally as a, um, with my um, oral recitation of, of classical Latin. So indirectly, I've had contact with, with many of these people. Uh, Sonkowski, for example, um, when Latinum started out as a podcast, the material on Sorgul at that time wasn't downloadable. And so he agreed that I could transfer it all into MP3 format and then upload it to the podcast so people could get it on iTunes. Um, and that was very gracious of, of him. And that was really the, the beginning of, of Latinum and the Latinum podcast. To start with, I didn't produce my own audio. I just put up audio from other people that I found online or that I got permission to to put up on iTunes. So I myself owe Balchazi a, a, de a, a, a debt, a sort of personal debt, although it's indirect. Because he brought all these people together, he has enabled um, those of us who wish to acquire a knowledge of restored classical Latin to do so more easily. Um, and as I said before, Lou is a bit like an engine, you know, chugging away in the background, sort of hidden inside the machine. You didn't always see him there. But if you look at the Balchazi Kadushi website, you'll suddenly get an idea of how pervasive his vision was and how uh, much influence he's had on Latin and the if not revival, it's a small little revival, but the mini revival in in Latin education that's currently taking place in the English-speaking um, world of Latin teachers. So that's uh, a little bit more of the puzzle. Bye. Wale.